Hey man, 101 Dub here back with another video, man. Listen, we're going to hop straight into it. As y'all all know, y'all heard about this Carly Russell case, the, the, the girl who supposedly went missing and got abducted from trying to help a child on the road. Turns out the bitch was lying. Hey, they saying she was lying. I, that's crazy. Let me just let me just tell you, let me just put it to y'all like this. When I seen the video of they said of, of her pulling over and just the story of what happened and shit, it was so crazy. Like it was so it like I it, like it felt bad. Like and she was black, she was young. I think she young. Is she young? I don't know, but the way it happened was just so fucked up. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, that's how we all felt. Nigga, I'm feeling bad as shit. And next thing you know, she come, she pop up two days after from missing, and now they, and now this the case. It's crazy, man. But listen, we ready hop straight into this. I'm ready. I, I need to know all the details, cause I ain't listen. She ain't getting no cut cards. You, you, she fucked up for that. If, if that's the case, but I, 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 I won't put it past her. You get what I'm saying? If they doing it like this, if they already going press conferences about this shit, they already know. You get what I'm saying? They ain't just gonna hop out there and straight and straight say that. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like they already know. They probably already know what's going on and shit. But hey man, let's let's see. Let me press play on that. I want to thank our department, members of surrounding local law enforcement agencies, the FBI, Secret Service, United States Marshals, and Aaliyah for their assistance in this case. What? 34 p.m. And at this time, we will play the 911 call in its entirety. Nigga, I can't hear that. Um, okay. All right, and you guys, you 
after speaking with the 911 operator. She went missing during that conversation sometime after 9.36 p.m. Traffic camera footage was obtained which depicted this portion of the incident and that footage was analyzed as part of the investigation in conjunction with the 911 call and cell phone data to accurately determine the time frame. Carly's 911 call remains the only report of a child on the interstate despite numerous vehicles passing through the area at that time. No one has called to report that a child is missing, and the Hoover Police Department did not locate any evidence of a small child walking down the interstate. Data from Carly's phone, including her Life360 app, shows that she traveled approximately 600 yards in her vehicle while she was on the phone with 911, stating that she was following a child. 600 yards, that is six football fields straight, 600 yards. Hold up. Hold up. So she was on the phone with the police and she was just driving. Like she was linking that she was making that shit up. She was she drove six football fields on the phone saying she looking at the child or she seen the child. But she right she she lied. Why you lie? I'm trying to see I'm trying to see why she lied. One, one center received a second call from Carly's mother stating that a relative was on the phone with her when they heard Carly scream and then they had an open phone line. Hoover police officers arrived on the scene within five minutes of being dispatched and several other officers arrived shortly. They located Carly's wig and cell phone in the grass near the vehicle. Her purse was located in the front seat of her vehicle with her Apple uh, watch in the purse. The food she ordered for Tzatziki's was also in the car. The items she purchased from Target, as well as the items taken from her place of employment, were not in the vehicle, nor were they located anywhere around the scene. Hoover police deployed all available assets from the point in the search for Carly. Additional resources were called in to include our own drone unit, crime scene investigators, numerous detectives responded to the scene. Throughout the day Friday, officers from surrounded local and federal agencies assisted Hoover police in the search for Carly Russell. Officers returned to the scene on 459 to conduct a thorough line search for evidence. K-9 teams from the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department responded to check for any sign of Carly, the child that she claimed to see, and anything else that could be considered evidence in this case. Those searches all turned up empty. Private citizens, including search parties organized by our family, friends, began looking everywhere that they could to find any trace. These searches took place throughout the day Friday, and again on Saturday, yielding nothing. We had a good At 10 44 p.m. on July 15th, the Hoover 911 center receives a call from Carly's residence stating that she returned home on foot. In subsequent investigations, detectives obtained surveillance footage of Carly walking down the sidewalk alone prior to arrival at her residence. She was conscious and speaking with paramedics when she was transported to UAB. Detectives were able to obtain a brief statement from her prior to being treated and released. During the statement, she told detectives that while traveling down the interstate, she saw a baby walking down the side of the road and called 911. She stuttered when she got out of her vehicle to check on the child, a man came out of the trees and mumbled that he was checking on the baby. She claimed that the man then picked her up and she screamed. She stated he then made her go over a fence. She claims he then forced her into a car and the next thing she remembers is being in the trailer of an 18-wheeler. She stated that the male was with a female. However, she never saw the female, only hearing her voice. She also told detectives she could hear a baby crying. She told detectives the male had orange hair with a big bald spot on the back. She said she was able to escape the 18-wheeler and fled on foot, only to be captured again, and then was put in a car. She claimed she was then blindfolded, but was not tied up because the captor said they did not want to leave impressions on her wrists. What type of movie shit did she, hey yo, hell no. So she got away from the 18 wheeler, got caught and then got put in the car. 
This bitch just told a whole a whole Jason movie. This is a scary movie right here. She just took the whole script out of a movie. This sounds like something I've seen before. The last house, on, the last house on the left type shit. Like this is something I've seen before. Now, like I said, if it's true, then you know. But I don't think they would be doing all this if they wasn't sh sure that this shit was fake. You get what I'm saying? Like that shit is crazy. She said that they took her into a house and made her get undressed. She believes they took pictures of her, but she does not remember them having any physical or sexual contact. She stated the next day she woke up and was fed cheese crackers by the female. She said the woman also played with her hair, but could not remember anything else. This is a movie, but then again, they is in Alabama. Hey, I don't, hey, I don't know what they be doing down there. That sounds like some Alabama shit, like some down south shit. But it sounds like a fucking movie. <laughs> like at some point, that she shit was is put crazy. back in a vehicle. She claims was able to escape while it was in the West Hoover area. She told detectives she ran through lots of woods until she came out near her residence. During this interview, detectives. So you you get away and you come out near your house. Fuck out of here, bro. She had a small she lying. And she claimed she, hey, her listen. Head was hurting. She also had a tear on her shirt. Detectives also noted that she had $107 cash in her right sock. Out of respect for Carly and her family, detectives did not press for additional information in this interview and made plans to speak with her in detail after giving her time to rest. Detectives continue analyzing data from Carly's cell phone that was left behind at the scene. We enlisted the help of the United States Secret Service in conducting this analysis. Part of what data included several internet searches in the days leading up to their disappearance that I think are rele very relevant to this case. On July 11th at 7.30 a.m., the term, do you have to pay for an Amber Alert was searched? On July 13th, at 1.03 a.m., the day of her disappearance, the term, how to take money from a register without being caught, was searched. On July 13th, at 2.13 a.m., the day of her disappearance, the term, Birmingham bus station, was searched. On July 13th, 2.35 a.m., a search for a one-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville was conducted with a departure date of July 13th. On July 13th at 1210 p.m., a search for the movie Taken, a film about abduction, was conducted. I, I told you! <laughs> bro, this bitch took a, bro, she took a movie script in, bro. There were two searches related to Amber Alerts on a computer at Carly's place of employment including one regarding the maximum age of an Amber Alert. There were other searches on Carly's phone that appeared to shed some light on her mindset, but out of respect for her privacy, we will not be releasing the content of those searches at this time. We've asked to interview Carly a second time, but have not been granted that request. As you can see, there are many questions left to be answered, but only Carly can provide those answers. What we can say as we've been unable to verify most of Carly's initial statement made to investigators, and we have no reason to believe that there is a threat to the public safety related, related to this particular case. Thank you very much. With that, welcome. First of all, my nigga came out there in the lavender suit. He came with the facts, and he wasn't playing. Let me look up this movie, Tainted. My dumb ass, I spelled it all wrong and shit. Is this it? I don't think this is it. Is that the movie? Tainted. Abduction, abduction movie. I think uh, that must be it. Taking them broad daylight. Uh, 
That's crazy, bro. Let me see what else they say. Some questions, please raise your hand and I will call them. Carol. Is any indication of mental illness in this case? Not that I'm aware of. Not innuendos. It's not what I think. It's not what these detectives think. It is the factual information that we have. This of the investigation, uh, I have, we have not determined that now. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. She fucked up for that, bro. She's fucked up for that. Let me read the comments. Somebody said, I am convinced she did this for attention from her ex-boyfriend. That's crazy. I kind of figured it was a hoax when he started literally telling everything she did. Bought phone searches, even her voice. Exactly. Like, her voice was just so, like, like she was lying type shit. Play with her hair and feed her cheeses. Where was the baby doing all this? I wish people would stop calling on the fact that she African-American. Like... Why, why Why? would you do that, bro? Like, you got all these motherfuckers, all these type of people in the world and different people that that was genuinely worried about her and, and you, especially by, and, and listen, they say don't bring up being black, but for that to happen to a black woman, the black community is fucked up about that. We do shit to each other, so I don't, the black community fucked up, but we was fucked up about that. And that shit, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, that shit right there, like, I don't even pay attention to this. I don't try to get caught up in the shit that's going on in the world. But when I seen that, like, it really, it, like, that shit really bothered me. You get what I'm saying? And to know that she was fucking lying and playing, like, people just do shit for whatever reason it may be. And it's not, she got the secret service involved. She probably didn't even think it was gonna go this deep. You a black woman in Alabama that got that that claim you was abducted or was abduct, abducted. That ain't no little shit. You get what I'm saying? But like I seen a lot of people saying like she made it even harder for let's say a situation like this come up in the future. It's gonna be harder for motherfuckers to even motherfuckers going have to to uh to second guess themselves or, or hold up is she for real? Is she serious? Whole time she really serious. You get what I'm saying? So now you fucking it up for the people that's already missing or dealing with that, and for the and for future times. You get what I'm saying? Like that's that's fucked up, man. Like all jokes aside, you get what I'm saying? You 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 wasn't supposed to do that. Somebody said that she 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 was she failed nursing school or something and was scared. She talking about and then they said she was stealing money or trying to steal money from a register and shit. Like this bitch was dumb. Like you wasn't even you was a you you, you seem like a good girl that just tried to get away. You got caught, and and you gave them a fucking movie script for as to why it happened, like as to what happened. Like hell no, you get what I'm saying? That's fucked up, man. But listen, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe if you did, and I catch you on the next one, man. We out.